Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this new edition of uh, Celebrity Signings. First off, I'm going to start with an apology. Uh, really sorry that I didn't get a video out last month. Um, basically, my excuse is that I was away on holiday. Um, I, I was away in Mexico and I didn't get... Well, I went away just before the end of the month. I didn't get back in till a, a week or two into the start of this month. Uh, and I just never got a chance to do the video. So apologies for that. But what it does mean is that I'm basically rolling April and May's videos into one. So here we go. This is a kind of like a, a big fat version of um, of the video for, for, for the last two months. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, and as always, you know, please, please feel free to comment and um, all that kind of stuff. So I'll crack straight on in. Um, the first autograph I got really really pleased with this one this is an in-person um, autograph from a book launch event i went to and it's from the writer irvin welsh um probably best known for writing the film train spotting train spotting 2 uh, he wrote, wrote the novels and i think he wrote the screenplay um, as well for both films so train spotting and train spotting 2 um, went to um, a book signing for irvin's new book uh, the blade artist and while i was there um, managed to grab some pictures and autographs from him as well so I brought this picture with me uh, it's a T2 uh, train spotting um, promotional picture which you can see Irvin signing, signed in gold um, across the photograph uh, he also signed his book for me as well so you can see the signed book here to uh, to Carl Best Irvin uh, and also grabbed a cheeky snap with him as well, as well while I was there because why not you know so uh, yes yeah, so I'm really pleased with that managed to get um, a copy of his book signed and also um, a signed picture from Trainspot as well, so that's really cool. Uh, the next autographs I got, really pleased with this one. This one's actually pretty cool. Um, I wrote via venue to the cast of the show The Philanthropist that's on at the moment in London. Um, I sent them off a picture and basically just thought, I'm going to hedge my bets here and just asked if they could all sign it. And amazingly, they all did. Um, so this picture, which I'm going to scroll down to in a second, is signed by Matt Berry, Simon Bird, Charlotte Ritchie, Lily Cole and Tom Rosenthal as well. Um, for those who don't know who they all are, um, Matt Berry, who's sort of at the back... Um, with the beard, with he's actually signed across his face. Uh, probably best known for things like Garth Marenghi's Dark Place um, and similar. Um, I think he was in the IT crowd as well. Charlotte Ritchie over to the far left, who was um, most recently in Fresh Meat, um, the comedy series Fresh Meat. Tom Rosenthal at the top at the back, uh, who's been in Saturday Night, uh, Friday Night Dinner. I think it's called Friday Night Dinner, um, and Plebs, um, and is on the bookies list at the moment as a possibility for the new Doctor Who, so that could be quite interesting. Uh, Simon Bird in the glasses at the front, who um, was in the Inbetweeners, and also, um, uh, I'm not sure if it was Friday night dinner or Saturday night dinner, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, something like dinner, uh, uh, and loads and loads of other stuff as well. And Lily Cole, who's been in tons of stuff, including Doctor Who. Um, so that was really cool. So yeah, wrote to the, wrote to the entire cast and got the picture back signed by all of them literally took about a week as well which was really cool so very happy with that reply uh next up ah now before i scroll on to this one this is probably my favorite autograph from the whole of april and may um i was chuffed to bits with this and hopefully you'll be pretty pleased with it as well i met harry potter yes yeah, so i uh, went to um went into london uh, to see a show called rosencrantz and Gild gilden sorry, rosencrantz and gildenstern are dead um and I wanted to see it anyway. I love it. It's Tom Stoppard play. It's very funny, very interesting. Um, and as part of the show, after the show, if you were lucky enough to get out in time, there was a sort of a meet and greet with Daniel Radcliffe. So, uh, yeah, so I went to the show and I met Daniel Radcliffe. Um, bit controversial, possibly, from some people watching this. I didn't bring any Harry Potter stuff to be signed. I know, controversial. I've seen the films. I liked them. They were fine. Um... I've never read the books. Uh, to be honest, I'm more of a fan of Dad Daniel Radcliffe from some of the other stuff he's, he did, like Woman in Black, um, which is one of the pictures you can see here that I got Daniel to sign in person for me. And also one I watched recently, which I absolutely loved, which was Swiss Army Man as well. So I got him to sign that picture too. Um, had a quick chat with Daniel. He said this was his favourite film he's worked on. He absolutely loved it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's really worth watching. It's very funny. Um, managed to grab a snap with Dan as well. Um, he's looking a little bit sort of hirsute there, as you can see, for his role that he's playing in um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. As it happened, there happened to be somebody else in the in the cube, which I didn't know at the time, um, but was actually snapping photographs and actually got a picture of me having my items signed by Daniel as well. So that's all pretty cool. So, so yeah, meeting Daniel Radcliffe 
Um, really, really pleased with it. Well worth going to the show and got some stuff signed by the man himself, Daniel Radcliffe, which is really cool because I'm pretty sure if you write to him, um, uh, you know, via his agent, pretty much what you'll get is a standard preprint back. So that was brilliant. So yeah, really pleased to meet Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, next thing got signed, probably not of interest to many people unless you're a sports fan. Um, I'm a uh, football fan, Manchester United fan myself, um, born and bred. And um, although it's not particularly well liked necessarily by all United fans, as I've got signed photos from Alex, um, Sir Alex Ferguson previously in another video, I thought I'd write to David Moyes while he was at Sunderland, which he's now no longer at because he's... Um, walked or been pushed whichever um sent this picture off to him from one of the only sort of happy times really from his season in charge at united which is winning the community shield um and got this back so that was really cool got it signed back by david moyes and um returned probably took a few months probably four or five months but um but yeah pleased to add that to my list of former united managers um signed photos that's really cool next one i got um is from natasha raskin she's a tv presenter does a lot of antique shows, um, presents and his celebrity auctioneer and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I sent her a picture, the one you can see here via um, uh, McTears, which is the auctions site, um, auction house she works for, um, and got this sign. She also sent me a letter, which I haven't included on here, and um, the sign picture here as well, which she sent herself. So that's Natasha Raskin, which is really cool. Uh, and the next one I sent was to um, Clear Evans, or Clear Evans, depending on when you catch him in his career, because his surname seems to swap and change. Um, probably best known uh, for his role in Twin Town. As you can see in the video here, he's over to the, uh, sorry, the picture in front of you here. He's over to the right-hand side, and um, Rhys Evans, who's probably more well-known, is, is over to the left. They're actually brothers in real life. Um, but I, yeah, I wrote to Clear. Um, unfortunately, he did sign the back of the picture, which is one of my bugbears. Uh, I don't know why people do that. I, I don't know whether they think they're protecting the picture or something. I'm not entirely sure. But you know what? It doesn't matter. He signed it and sent it back, which was really cool. Um, and if you haven't seen Twin Town again, well worth it. It's very, very funny. Um, you might struggle to understand some of it because it's, it's, um, it's set in Swansea and has some very strong Welsh accents in it, but it is bloody funny and well worth watching so if you haven't seen it uh you know track down a copy it's worth watching but yeah that's clear evans which is uh, really cool very pleased with that um the next one i got is kind of a repeat autograph request really um in one of my older videos um and you can also see i've put the link on to where i where i wrote to uh oh, oh sorry the link to the original picture here as well i wrote to dame vera lynn who's obviously best known as the um, sort of forces sweetheart she was a singer during the second world war basically you know kind of got people through the war really in a lot of ways um, with her, with her music and songs of hope like the white cliffs of dover and that kind of stuff um, and she's recently um, turned 100 which is incredible round of applause to dame vera um, i've written to her before but the picture i sent although it's this exact same picture as the one you can see here it was a pretty shoddy quality one, um, and I, I don't know why I sent it, but it wasn't the best quality. Um, so she signed it and returned it, and I thought, you know, I really want to get a, a nicer signed picture from her. So I actually wrote to her again recently, and congratulated her on turning 100, and asked if she could sign the picture for me, which she did, and she's returned here, which is really cool. Um, she, the, the Dame Vera Lynn charity, children's charity that she um, is patron for, also sent me a slip here, which you can't quite read here, but um, I'll put the link in the details below um, but it's asking for any donations to the children's charity to basically keep the charity going i thought it was really cool so i've donated to it and if you've got any spare change then um, follow the link below and hopefully you'll um, you know it'd be brilliant if you could donate to the dame vera Lynn children's charity as well so i'll put that link below do feel free to go and donate to that but that was really cool uh yeah dame vera Lynn, um amazing lady and a really cool autograph to get back uh the next set of autographs i've got are from Catherine jenkins who um is probably best known as a, a Welsh singer, opera singer, but fairly recently has got into acting, um, and she's most recently been in um, a, a, a Doctor Who episode with Matt Smith. So uh, it was you know a couple of seasons ago now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but she was in in that as one of his not companions as such, but she had a fairly major role in the episode. So she's recently been um, performing in a show in London. 
And I've kind of taken recently to writing via venue, which is something I've never done before, but seems to be quite a successful way of getting replies back. Uh, so I sent a couple of pictures to Catherine, and she, as you can see, she signed this one here to Carl of Catherine, uh, which is really cool, and it's a promotional shot from her episode of Doctor Who. Um, and then I also sent this one as well, which she signed. I know the picture... I don't know what's happened here. I, I took a photo of this picture. And for some reason, it's made it look like she's got a massive head in the picture. I don't know why. Her, ge her head genuinely isn't that huge. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what's happened here. But again, she signed this picture. It's lovely. The actual picture itself is really nice. Um, but I seem to have turned her into a fairly massive-headed lady in this picture. I don't quite know what's happened. Um, but that was a really cool reply to get back from Catherine Jenkins. Another one for my Doctor Who collection, which is which is great. Um, which Yeah, which is really cool. Um, the next one I got is actually a purchase. Uh, it's Fenella Fielding, who is probably best known um, from her um, role in the film Carry On Screaming, um, which is hilarious and probably one of my favourite Carry On films. I've got quite a Carry On collection going on at the moment anyway, um, and I've just never had a chance to go to a show or a convention or anything where Fenella is, is appearing. She doesn't do through the mail, um, but she has got an online shop, so I bought the bullet and decided to purchase an autograph from, from her, which is lovely, actually. It's a really nice, big glossy 10 by 8 um, and she signed it to Carl carry on best wishes Fenella Fielding which is really cool I've put a link to the online shop on my site if you fancy going along and purchasing, purchasing one um, she's got a load of options you can choose from I think I'm not sure if I remember that rightly or not but I think she's got a few options you can choose from um, and yeah it's, it's a really nice way of getting hold of an autograph and I, I'm pretty sure actually um, it's probably cheaper then going to some of the conventions I've seen her in as well. So, you know, definitely worth doing. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. Nice reply from Fenella Fielding. And the very last autograph for this video, which you're probably saying thank God for because we're already coming up to 12 minutes already, uh, is another purchase. And it's actually arrived today, so it's just managed to squeak its way into the April slash May video. Um, and, and I think it's really cool. I purchased a book from Forbidden Planet um, recently. Uh, which is called 300 the rise of the empire rise of an empire the art of the film um the first film three 300 is fantastic um the sequel i didn't think it was that great but this book is pretty cool the reason i bought it there was a couple of reasons really um firstly it's worth about 35 40 quid and they were selling it for nine pound 99 which is just crazy good the book itself is amazing it's in a really cool slip case the book is pretty big brilliantly packaged and for a tenner you can't go wrong but probably the re real reason I bought this book um, is because it's actually signed by the um, producer and also the director of the film. Um, the producer is Noam Murrow. Um, I've probably said that wrong. Yeah, Noam Murrow. Uh, and he, he directed this film. Sorry, the director of this film. Yeah, Noam Murrow. He directed this film. Hasn't directed much much else. Um, he, he directed some episodes of Watership, Watership Down, the new series that's come out recently. But the real reason, to be honest, I bought it is it's signed um, by Zack Snyder. Uh, it's numbered limited 100 and set oh, was numbered out of only 750 copies. So it's limited edition. But I wanted Zna Zack Snyder's autograph. For those who don't know who Zack Snyder is, he directed the Batman vs. Superman film. He has directed quite a bit of the Justice League film, although he has recently been replaced by Joss Whedon for family reasons. But he'd probably come back and direct the, the rest of the Justice League films. Uh, he directed the original film, 300, as well. Um, he directed Watchmen and loads of other really cool stuff. And it's signed by Zack Snyder. So that was brilliant. So for a tenor, I thought you just you can't go wrong for that at all. Um, it's a really nice, clear autograph. And, and it's also signed by Noam Murrow as well. So So I thought, why not? Um, and that's basically it. That's all of my autographs from April and May. So we're all caught up and um, and hopefully you enjoyed the video, enjoyed seeing what I've got in the last couple of months. Um, there will be another themed video coming out very shortly. I won't go into details as to what it is at the moment, but there will be another themed video as the responses were fairly positive from the Game of Thrones one I did uh, a couple of months ago. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the, the, the video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you've got any questions, by all means ask. I'm happy to help. Um, I'm an approachable guy. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Hope you enjoyed the video and catch you all again soon. Thank you so much for coming back. Cheers. Bye-bye.